In this video we are going to be converting the footer. We are going to prepare the two menus from the footer, arrange the blocks, implement the footer markup and the footer menu markup. So quickly we may see what have we achieved until now. So we already have the base of our team and we have already the header with the main menu implemented. Next. From our static version, we're going to implement the very bottom part, the footer, this green area here. So we will start first with the menus. As we saw, we need two menus here and this text will leave static for the moment. So if we go to structure, menus, We'll use the footer menu as our left menu. So let's rename it to footer left and add some links. Wonderful. So let's go ahead and add another menu for the right menu. So let's call it footer right. It's the right footer and add some links. We can add some external links here, like Google, google.com, and let's add a link to Drupal, Drupal.org. Let's add a link to SitePoint. Some completely random links. So now we have already two menus. What we want to do is we want to group them in the footer. So we have under structure and block layout, we have a footer region. So what we have to do is we would have to place our footer blocks. So in my case, the footer left is already placed, but if you don't have it, you just search for footer and place footer left and then place also footer right. Save block. And wonderful. We have the footer left and the right. And as we save, we already have the two menus. What we have to do now is we would have to check the actual markup of our static version. Here is this, our static version and our footer starts with a footer element. So what we can do is we would start with the same technique by inspecting and uh, we also have a footer element and I'm pretty sure it comes from our page template. So we go to our code base, our Drupal code base, and under Teams and Webshop, we have under templates already our page template. And we have footer. What we can do is we can actually put here a class and actually just copy the classes that we're supposed to have in our footer element. There we go. And Further, we would have to continue with a div. Let's go ahead and add it here. And close the div. That's great. And in addition, we have another div which is with class row. Oh. Let's go ahead and add this body here. And we have our static text here. We just copy it and directly 
we may paste it here. It appears a bit weird, but basically we can fine tune it. That's not a problem at all. So it closes here and our menus start directly afterwards. So the two of our menus are looking quite similarly, but uh, we can use for that case the blocks. So if we check here, actually the block output starts from here, and for now it look it uh, and for now it uses the block system menu block basically we can just copy it and use the menu block footer and for the second one menu block footer right so what we want to do is we want to jump to our code base web shop and then teams and web shop and basically under templates we already have the block system menu so we'll just copy it and rename it with this template suggestion. And one more time with the bottom template suggestion. Which is for the right menu. Wonderful. So go ahead and rename this body here. Quick. And now as we clear the cache, we go to configuration and performance and clear all caches. It would start to look a bit like a menu already. That's because we implemented the footer wrapper and this bit here actually has already the correct markup. So we would have to continue working on the menus. And as we already have the correct menu templates, which are coming from the block, as you see, we have the block system menu block footer and we have also the footer right. So we can compare again and for the first one we just use this markup. So we have templates, we have just footer and we implement the wrapper. I guess it would be here. One. And for the second one, it actually has exactly the same markup. So we go to the second block and put the correct markup and we close it in the end. Wonderful. If we refresh the page, yes, we'd have to clear the cache one more time. And yes, it looks quite well. Mm, just the links are looking a bit weird. As we see here, they are white. For some reason, they stay blue here. Is there something special about those? LIs, let's compare. We have just ULLI and the links they have uh, class white text. Let's have a look how we may add the white text class to those links. Basically, those are just simple links, but in the menu navigation, core teams table templates navigation menu. 
So let's go to core, themes, stable, templates, navigation, and then menu. We copy this body and we go to our theme. And we paste it, but in the one case we would like to to overwrite it as the menu footer. Wonderful. And in the other case, we would like to overwrite it as the menu footer right. So, it's, uh, some would say that it's a bit too much of fine tuning, but it's a good exercise to, to find how the things work. So, what we have to do is we would have to go to the footer and then we find that we have our link here so we can just go ahead and overwrite it and create a normal link with ref and we would simply take the URL and print it inside of the ref and we will take the item title and print it inside of our link and in addition we would go ahead and add a class text white it looks fine we get rid of this body here and we will do exactly the same for our footer right we would go ahead and remove this and replace it with and furthermore, as we clear all caches and refresh our page, our beloved footer looks as it should with the white links. And the last thing that we want to do is we want to go to our static version and copy the footer copyright last element and go to our page template and just paste it at the very bottom wonderful if you like this video please check the links into the description and subscribe and don't hesitate to ask questions in the comments below thank you